Hi everyone. Today we are diving into some R programming with the neural networks. First, we need to make sure we have all the tools we need. So, we load up some libraries that help us with data and building neural networks. Then, we are going to work with a classic dataset called Iris. The Iris dataset has different types of flowers, and we want to teach our computer to recognize them based on their features. But computers like numbers, not flower names, so we convert the flower types into numbers. These libraries should be installed before. Then we convert it is data frame to a matrix. Set dimension names to null. Determine sample size and split the data set into training and test sets. We divide it by 0.67 and 0.33. Select rows for training set where in is 1. Select rows for test set where in is 2. Split the classic attribute for training set. Then split the class attribute for test set. In this way, we split our data set into two parts, one for teaching our computer the training set and one for testing how will it learn the test set. We make sure both sets have a good mix of flower types. Now, here is where things get interesting. We want our computer to understand the different flower types, but it is not as simple as saying this is a setosa. We need to speak the computer's language, which is zeros and ones. So we do something called one-hot encoding. It's like uh, translating flower names into a special code that the computer cannot understand. Each type of flower gets its own code, like a secret language. Just to be sure everything goes smoothly, we take a quick peek add our translate test set to make sure our code looks right. Now we are going to learn about building a neural network using our programming language. Let's start with the model one. First, we construct our model. Think of a model as a blueprint for our neural network. We initialize our model by creating an empty container for layers. Then we add layers to our model. Each layer processes data in a different way. In our first layer, we added what is called a dense layer. This layer has eight units, which are like small processing units.
we use an activation function called renew which helps the network learn co complex patterns in the data since this is our first layer we also specify the input shape which is the number of features in our data in this case four features from the iris data set next we add another dense layer this time it has three units we use a different activation function called softmax softmax is handy for classification tasks because it gives us probabilities for each class once our model is constructed we check it is summary to see it is architecture including the number of layers and parameters after that we compile our model Compiling means configuring the model for training. We specify the loss function, optimizer, and metrics. The loss function tells the model how wrong it is during training. We use categorical cross entropy since we have a multiple class. The optimizer updates the model based on the data sees and the loss function. We choose Adam Optimizer, which is quite popular. Lastly, we want to see how accurate our model is during training. So we use accuracy as our matrix. This the model is there. This is the input tensors list the output tensors then we train our model using the fit function we provide it with our training data and levels specify the number of epochs training iterations batch size the number of samples the model sees before updating and a validation split portion of training data used for validation we can utilize how our model learns over epochs by plotting it is training history we plot both the loss and accuracy for both training and validation data this helps us understand if our model is improving over time Lastly, we evaluate our model on the test data to see how well it performs on unseen data. We print out the evaluation score to see its performance. The accuracy of 
model 1 is 0.936 and loss is 0.17.